not only because we need energy. Every doctor says you need some uh, essential amino acids and proteins. Yeah, well, so so that sounds, sounds good, but, it, but uh, we really don't. Basically, it's simpler than that. What we need is we need components to build stem cells. And I've defined that very simply as chlorophyll, oil, water, and salt. Once we, once we, we need the salt to maintain the alkaline design of the fluids because salt, and of course doctors are also saying get off salt just like they say, oh, but over here we need this, but then they change their mind because they find out a little bit more information about what's really happening in the body. But the bottom line here is when, we're, when we increase the chlorophyll level of our diet, with green fruits and green vegetables, that's when we increase, and this is measurable, this is when we increase our hemoglobin. Our hemoglobin goes up. My hemoglobin is 17. The finest athletes were blood doping in order to get that type of hemoglobin. Mm -hmm. And you probably know who I'm talking about, Lance Armstrong. He was forcing his hemoglobin blood counts up so he could carry more oxygen. But he was doing it without understanding that he could have done it so simply and so legally if he had just incorporated more chlorophyll in his diet. And so my hemoglobin is 17. And my red counts are up in the, fi uh, 50, uh, uh, is, is, are up in the fives. And my hematocrit runs about 52%. And most people are in the low 40s. And the reason why is because they don't focus on the things that build stem cells. Now what we have found, putting everything aside, what, what we found, when we focus on a diet that's high in chlorophyll, oil, water, and salt, hemoglobin goes up, hematocrit goes up, white count goes down because white, count, white, counts, white, white cells are garbage collectors. They go around and pick up garbage. So white counts go naturally down when we clean up the environment. So we have a cleaner internal environment our bodies operate more efficiently. We sleep, sleep less, you know, and we're not sleeping with the enemy. And what is sleeping with the enemy? We actually got something in our gut that's rotting and putrefying because it will not liquefy. It takes days, if not weeks, to get out. Mm. So you, you just got to stop sleeping with the enemy. And the enemy are the foods that are not going to build those stem cells. And so I point specifically, probably the major ones, are uh, the animal proteins. Now there are, there are good sources for protein, I won't argue that particular point, and I think the plant-based sources are the best. And so I encourage people, for those who think that they need protein, because the body will produce whatever it needs out of those four components, chlorophyll, oil, water, and salt. Those are the basic four. But if we're getting, if, we're, if we think we need some additional protein, I mean, hemp protein is a great source of protein. One of the, my favorite is avocado. Mm. 